Even when I put up the exhibition here, I know the names of everyone in the pictures off by heart. I know everybody's stories. I know not all the people in my pictures actually survive the journey. And it really troubles me, I mean, when I've published the book and when I put the pictures on a wall, to know that, um, that people have risked their lives. I mean, when I started the project, one in 20 people escaping from Somalia actually died trying to get out. And of course, it still breaks my heart. It's nearly five years since I started this, and things haven't got so much better. Well, I think uh, these pictures speak by themselves. They are very evocative. They are very. They may look gloomy. They are definitely dramatic. They highlight uh, a phenomenon of our times. Uh, that is, people fleeing a wreck life or refine violations of their basic rights and looking for a better future. Um, obviously, when you follow this human imperative of bettering yourself, I don't think there is much you can do to change their mind, even if they encounter enormous risks on the way. But at least what you can do is to make other people aware of these decisions and of the compelling reasons why they take this risk to migrate. And I think this is the purpose of this exhibition. We keep up the flag uh, for Somalia. Uh, we as the United Nations, international NGOs, governments deeply committed to Somalia. The problem is that Somalis have their own time frames, which do not necessarily correspond to the time frames of the international community. Somalis take a long time to talk through things and to agree on things and because we are in a hurry because of our own electoral or budget cycles inevitably we end up thinking that Somalia is a lost cause. Somalia is not a lost cause if we put ourselves in the feet of the Somalis and we see things with their eyes. I think that is what we should try to do. My main message to the public today was um, to get Kenyans and Somalis to live together in, 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 in harmony. Um, as, as sort of someone who's been exposed to this uh, issue for a while, I think uh, one thing I was trying to convey is that it takes courage to be a refugee, it takes courage to move away from home. Um, and uh, But th th I feel that there's been a lot of tension between the two different communities, us as a host community and the, and the Somalis as visitors. And I feel that um, a message of unity has to be spread. One of the things I was definitely was saying was that um, one of the reasons people dislike each other is because they don't know enough about each other. And we have to, um, we have to learn more about each other, each other's culture, each other's religion. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.